In the Holy Quran, it says that Allah plans and the devil plans, but Allah is the best of planners. So, John Casey, you, you, you've been here with Okie Doke. You've been set up. You thought you were setting us up, but God has come. And I serve a real God, not a fake God. A real God. So, my brother, my brother Jay Martinez is here, and he about to drop a jewel on us, man. He about to drop a jewel on us. See, because we, this, this is a, a cultural, they don't want to hear the word, but revolution. So I, I, I called on, on the beat makers. I called on the dancers. So we can ride on our enemies in the name of Tupac Shakur. Did you know that? So our brother Jay, whenever you ready, brother, to drop a jewel on us, we're going to get some of that good cultural knowledge to expand our minds. I'm ready when you are. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jay Martinez, spoken word artist for Metaphorically Speaking. What's going on peoples? So I was a unit counselor at a juvenile facility for Montgomery County for four years. Um, I was in there with the, with the, with the you know, those, oh, man, the, the, it was rough. But it's a business more than anything. Right. It's not treatment. Right. Nobody's taking care of the kids. They're housing them. Right. Um, the more we have in those buildings, of course, you know, the more funding we get. Right. Um, now, downtown, a lot of DYSs are being closed down, so they open up a J care facility downtown here in this building to keep the kids housed there because if they send them to DYS, the county loses money. Right. So what we're doing is we're just funding, we're circulating youth, and then the prison of pipeline, you already know how that goes. So what happens is a lot of our youth who are maybe on probation or, or freaking the black and out walking down the street, they send them right back to us over a minor misdemeanor such as that, because they know exactly what's going to happen. $180 a day for every child we house in these juvenile facilities. Um, Besides that, the only way we can reach to them is through our, our native tongue, our language. So spoken word poetry is our way of activism. And here go this little piece I could do for you real quick that I feel about what's going on with all of this here today. And then, you know, but one more thing too. If you're going to take away this funding from people, why would you do it from the disenfranchised? Why would you do it from the lower income? Of all things, when I was in the county, we had to take a pay cut in order to stay in there. We couldn't, they asked me, do you want to retire or do you want to just not get raises to stay working here in this facility? Because we're not getting enough kids here. I'm like, you know what, just don't give me the raises, man. Let me stay in there. So I work my magic. I talk to the kids when I had a chance to. When the cameras were on watching, I'm dropping knowledge on them, hoping that one of them get out of there good and do what they need to do here, like these revolutionaries. But here you go. If it's a nuclear war, tell me what the land survive. I mean, look at how the government's a hand you lies. They feed you propaganda while they scan through lies. The barrier across your mind is without vandalized. I'm trying to help my people, but their hands are tied. Funny how temptation always seems to tantalize. History repeats itself, and the bullshit always seems to be sanitized. It's a lot in this life that I can't define, so I spit poems that attest the hands of time. I am legend, feeling like the last man alive. But most of you ain't understanding why we use a microphone to amplify the wisdom that expands your eyes and break the universal code of this grand design. But we are here. Yeah. You see, the first thing they do is take away the arts from their class sessions containing right. their self-expression for more standardized testing Woo. Then the principal receives a bonus when his next checks in And then the child, then they wonder why he wildin' and acting with aggression So now you deem him deficit with attention, prescribing prescriptions So when he receives this, he retires with aggression Now you admit him into a juvenile detention And then they wonder why shorty wildin' disrespect him And then they say we livin' in a dying city, but ain't nobody crying pity Ain't nobody showing sympathy and empathy for those who cry out and if you're financially little, what the hell good is a buyout? Which you gonna spend and spend until eventually the money dies out. And when the economical supplies out, corporate America moves to the south of the border just a little fast. While up here, they don't obliterate an entire middle class. And all I can see is the hundreds and thousands of faces they're frowning because they got laid off while the top dogs getting paid off. They in a country club trying to play golf. My people just scrambling to get their rent paid off. When you're feeding your kids with no job, ain't no days off. But when it's this many unemployed, that's when the guns deploy and the bullets to spray off. And the chest of a victim is with a letter stay. But he don't want to go to the hospital because he ain't got no Medicaid yeah. On top of that, grandmom's is dying because she can't afford a prescription Moms wants to go to work, but the car needs a new transmission Her daughter wants to go to college, but can't afford the tuition 
Listen, her brother filling out apps through the felonies, job market and trying to listen. Pops got hurt in the job. A year later, they take away his pension. More children are deemed ADD, so they really believe that they can't pay attention. Most don't want to work for fear of losing their government assistance. Our auntie's crying in the kitchen because her daughter's missing, and they don't even have the kidnapper's description. While uncle's scratching scabs due to his addiction. Goddaughters having suicidal intentions. Cousin dies from friendly fire on an Iraqi mission. Godson is rebelling, getting tired of these conditions. While grandmoms are still upstairs praying for redemption. You seek the ills of this world, they can hit you in an instant. Now, one person standing here today is an exemption. Now, you can let the stress of this world devour you, or you can let the struggle and adversity empower you. It all depends on your person, so tell me how are you? Because me, I'm a rebel with a cause. I'm a motherfucking renegade, but I gotta chill out to make sure that the rent is paid. I'm finding it hard to walk up on this righteous path, working 40 hours in a week just to keep up with the light and gas. I say, forget it all when I light the hash. I sit back and take a look at life and laugh and write in my patterns I explain to you about this life that I have. Because working is minimum wage only makes my people want to live in a rage. And if I react to where I really want to, well, then I live in a cage. But you tell me what's worse working when it's your stomach is worse hurting. And while they're here jerking and swag surf on one's earth searching for something real, but it feels like this curse worsens. Because I love people with God, but I can't stand with your church person. All blessed due to the most high, even though I spit it in first person. And I flow like a monster. You could call me the Leviathan. They try to throw me in the dirt. I'm like, brother, you're going to have to try again. Head up, high chest out, even in the middle of the lion's den. I done made it up out of an urban environment. Now I'm back with my brother, been smoking good while drinking on some Heineken's. This fire is what I provide again to keep your eyes open wide again. Because while gas is going up and down like it's a stock option, we stuck in the hood thinking we ain't got options. So my peoples get the rock chopping it, then they get the Glock popping it. Now they dodging bullets like they pop blocking it. Media selling us bullshit, then we steadily copping it. If it ain't that, it's a concerted purpose and collide of pins. We bombing them oxy cotton it. You see, company, company sell drugs that kill people. That's a million dollar profit. In. Hustlers sell drugs that kill people. Million dollar bail when they locking him. They get mad when we grind because don't cut him when you clocking out and clocking in. But the FDA approves these pharmaceutical companies because they invest stock in them. Knowing that these pills are kill, but ain't nobody putting a stop to them. And nowadays, courtship is determined by sex right. No need for human interactions. You can build relationships over these social websites. And it don't stop there. The insanity he grows and the 13 bloodline family knows but we ain't reaching for our dreams because he's too busy watching reality shows facebook and twitter and until the battery's low now you gotta borrow somebody else's charger situation getting harder can't reach your destination because you ain't got no gps and we're being raised by pbs abc nbc cbs bet cnn tnt tbs but none of them care we be stressed shit you can't even buy a new house or a new car if you got low credit forget to drink all night go to work next morning with a swole headache i didn't did a lot of crazy things in life but i don't regret it I I just happen to be a poet that is so poetic, but I refuse to be copacetic. But every time I rhyme about this modern day struggle, my flow's embedded. Cause a man without ambition is so pathetic. <laughs> yeah. So that's my piece there, you know what I'm saying? We do a lot of that revolutionary spoken word poetry. Um, so you hit them with another one? We good? We good? Okay. Peace, y'all. Make some noise! That's our, that's our man, Jay, Jay Martinez, metaphorically speaking.